peace and blessings to the people. <clears throat> what is it? Today is day three of this magnificent vacation of mine here in Iceland. It is currently 7.31 a.m. Iceland time, which is 2.31 a.m. New York time. So I just got finished eating just a little light breakfast, two pieces of rye bread and a couple slices of oranges and this delicious <clears throat> apple juice right here. Um, last night. <laughs> so we started off with uh, 18, a group of 18 and, uh, you know, walking around the glaciers and just being up for so early in the morning that by the time it came to uh, last night when we got here at the air, I mean at the uh, hotel a lot of people decided to crash you know go to bed early um, <clears throat> well it was just the five of us up past 12 o'clock last night uh, or rather this morning so we we're just talking drinking just chilling getting to know each other you know what I mean um, shout out to uh, Barbara again happy birthday Today, she's from Austria and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, today consists of um, going to Diamond Beach, uh, Black Sand Beach. Um, I think we got to do another glacier. I'm not sure. Um, but then when it's all said and done, after that, we're going to hit up, uh, go back to the uh, city capital, which is in Reykjavik. And that's it. And then I probably just hit the town after that get something to eat, something to sip on, and then relax, because tomorrow I have an excursion, <clears throat> have an excursion tomorrow, um, be on the lookout for that, uh, snorkeling in between two tectonic plates, so on one side, um, it'll be, I'll be on the North American side, and then the other side I'll be in, uh, what's that, Euro-Asia side, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice, I'm looking forward to that, and then I have uh, snowmobiling, on Tuesday and then after that come back and back to uh you know my career and whatnot so with that being said with that being said yeah have a good one um, I'm tired I've been up since I want to say like six six this morning um, I went to bed about like two so I'm definitely going to doze off on that bus um, yeah have a good one y'all I'll keep you posted peace yo yo real quickly Real quickly, check out this view from the window. I'm about to give it to y'all. This view is crazy. And it's raining. I wish it wasn't raining. I definitely flew my drone. But check this out. Diamond Beach. Uh, unfortunately, there are no glaciers, no diamonds here, but this is the black sand. Uh, first time I'm ever seeing black sand. It's so soft, too. It feels amazing. Very different. Look at that. Oh, girl. So, yeah, but it's okay. Just being here is amazing. came across some wild reindeers as well. Crazy. Yo, yo, here, Diamond Beach, Iceland. Uh, it was crazy. It's so surreal, unreal, you know? Um, unfortunately, as I mentioned before, there 
there are no, um, let me get this out the way, hold on. Okay, cool, there are no uh, diamonds, quote unquote glaciers uh, on the sand right now, but just being here on the black sand beach, check it out, the black sand beach. Never dreamt of being here. My wildest dream, you know what I mean? So, oh my yeah, I'm fixing my gloves. I'm one more. Sorry about that. So to be here, you know, definitely so surreal. I just can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, we going next off to I think he said um, Black Sand Beach. That's another beach. But um, got a lot of things happening today. So definitely we'll see y'all on this journey. Tune in. So now we are here at Glacier Lagoon and about to walk around. Check it out. fly my drone I'm not gonna take that chance I uh, looked it up to see my drone due to the high winds you probably couldn't hear me I was pretty much saying that due to the rain I could not fly my drone and that I had looked it up and my drone isn't waterproof so I wasn't taking that chance but uh, as long as I had my GoPro which is waterproof I'm good to go so that's all I was basically saying
we're at Skogel Falls or something like that. Skogel Long, I'm gonna put it in the in the description. But uh, it's time to walk up these steps. Stairway to heaven. Stairway to heaven. The tour guy wanted us to count, so I'm gonna take him up on that offer. Why not? I'll see you up there. This is the halfway point. Ooh. Almost there. Almost there. Look at this view so far. Maggie's joining us. Up the way there. Check out the view. Look at this. Today's a perfect day too because it's not icy. So walk these steps. We're almost there. I'll meet y'all up top. We're about like 90. Let's take the lead. Thank you. Whatever you'd like. Thank you. Watch your steps too. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this is into the mountain now. This is how they lived. Wow. There's something else over here. Well, leave your offerings and ask for your wishes. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. There's something in here. What's in there? Oh, I guess this is a bedroom. Okay. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's pretty cool. Huh? Is that 
Yeah, same thing. Thank you. came to Iceland for many reasons. And this is definitely one of those reasons. Check it out. Just be careful here, y'all. do this y'all come around the corner so i'm gonna put my camera up because i want to be careful i'll see y'all on the other side
do, what it do, what it do. Peace and blessings to the family. You see the smile on my face. It's a smile of joy, of, of pure happiness, of just amazing. As you can see, I'm back at the hotel here uh, at Otzen Hotel in Reykjavik. Just coming back from two-day excursion. It is 8.45 p.m., which is 3.45 p.m. in New York. Uh, the driver, I can't say his full name, right? It's long. Um, I'll put it down here. Uh, thank you, but he goes by his nickname is Hunter. Thank you, Hunter and his girlfriend who basically stayed with us for two days, driving us around, accommodating us. Uh, like I said, we started out as a group of 18 and uh, came back uh, as a group of 18. Um, amazing. So I'm just now getting back. I'm just going to charge up my phone, uh, woosa a little bit, and then head into the town because I'm going to hit up that church and possibly get some night nighttime uh, footage from my drone. Um, where do I begin? I don't know. I don't know. Just so, you see, you see I'm smiling. You know, normally when I take my photos, I don't smile. I'm just, you know, whatever, whatever. But I'm truly, genuinely smiling because, uh, as I was telling one of the uh, tourists um, whom I met today, uh, she and her husband, both are from um, uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Shout out to Brandy, social worker. Social worker in the house, you already know how we do. Um, I was telling her that, you know, of all the places that I've been thus far, Greece is at the top. But if everything goes well, you know, tomorrow with the Blue Lagoon, the snorkeling, and then the snowmobile before I leave, then Iceland's gonna have to take uh, the first spot. But back to, um, where do we begin? Like I said, just to recap, I'm sorry for that. Just to give a little recap, um, let me quench my thirst. Hold on. <clears throat> can't drink too much, can't drink too heavy because tomorrow I have, like I said, uh, if everything goes well, I have the snorkeling between the two tectonic plates and I learned my lesson twice about drinking too much before going snorkeling. So cheers real quickly. Cheers to the entire crew who came out, uh, celebrated, uh, happy birthday again, Barbara from Austria. Uh, cheers to you. So, as I was saying, um, yeah, little recap. Basically, the bus picked me up. What was that? Uh, Saturday morning, around like 9 p.m. All together, those 18 other uh, tourists, um, 20 people on the bus, including the driver and his girlfriend, and we just went to the south of Iceland, you know, uh, it's just a whole lot, look at, the, you already see it, you know what I mean, I don't want to go on, but uh, after that, we spent the night at a hotel, nice hotel, you know, very accommodating, uh, the food there was good, I do not like beets, hated beets, since uh, junior high school, but they had like a puree sauce, uh, and I didn't know that it was beets until after the fact, but that puree beet sauce, it was delicious, but anyway, the food was, there was good. Nice and comfortable spot, you know what I mean? Um, and then we left early this morning, about 8.45, 9 o'clock, you know, traveling uh, again through the south of, of Iceland. Went to go to the Diamond Beach, right? Unfortunately, because, you know, it was raining, uh, there were no, like, glaciers being pushed out onto shore and whatnot. So we didn't get a chance to see the diamonds, which is just basically... Uh, clusters of glaciers but just to be on the beach you know uh, to see black sand you know feel it very different let me just plug this in real quickly um very different um excuse me about that the texture of the sand was very different um so we went to go do that after uh what's that after the um diamond beach we went to um, the Glacier Lagoon, yeah, Glacier Lagoon, saw some seals, saw some, some type of birds in the water, very nice. Um, what else was after that? Mind you, this is a two-day excursion, shout out to Trolls, uh, I'll put all the information in the description, um, if you want to, uh, you know, book through them, by all means, nice, nice, nice. Um, so after that, after the Glacier Lagoon, we headed over to uh, the Black Beach, the Black Sand Beach, excuse me. 
um, spent some time there. Mind you, I couldn't fly my drone at either, either of these places because, as I mentioned before, it was raining and I was not trying to uh, mess up my drone. I paid way too much for it. I invested in it purposely to do my travels and I wasn't trying to mess it up at all. So, um, you know, whatever drone footage I did capture, it is what it was. Um, yeah, then after that, we went to the, uh, some waterfalls. Um, there was this one particular waterfall that I just had to go before leaving. Um, I can't pronounce the name of it, but basically, in order to go in it, you gotta walk through water on the rocks, and it's just like a nice little crevice, a nice little cave area, and the waterfall just coming down, shooting all in my face on my jacket. Uh, shout out to those waterproof jackets, those waterproof pants, those wool socks, waterproof boots, like a hundred percent works, you know what I mean? A uh, hundred percent it works. Um, yeah, so, and then we just went around, fed some horses, ate, had some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, now I'm here, I'm about to just uh, hit the town up a little bit. Like I said, try to get some of those uh, good old night shots or whatever. Um, but tomorrow's another day. I'll keep y'all posted, and uh, see y'all. Cheers. What it do, what it do, y'all. You see, I'm outside, I'm out and about. I'm outside, as the saying goes. But um, I'm out here, came down here to uh, visit the uh, church, the famous church, the tallest church here in Iceland. So I'm trying to get some drone shots during the night. It's not raining. There's no uh, wind, strong wind, so see what's up. So it's right here, check it out. Found a little parking, so just walking up the strip now. See what's up with this church. Um, more than likely, let me see, I might not have time. I might not have time to come back tomorrow because I definitely want to visit it, visit it during the day. Uh, we shall see if Tuesday I have enough time. So I'll holler at you when I get there. Peace. So this is the church. We're during the day. From my understanding, you can go inside. Person can go inside and uh, view from the top. So I'm gonna try to get here. Um, Sunday, I mean, excuse me, today is Sunday, Tuesday after my snowmobile and uh, see what's up with it. Uh, yeah, this is it. Patrons from Holland, uh, he spent and he got 10 free beds. So it was just it was a 
group of him. It was a group of like four of them. So they offered me a beer. Somebody else had one, offered me a beer. So I turned it down. You know what I mean? Some alcohol, whatever, whatever. But um, yeah, I'm still out. I'm still out and about right now. Um, sipping, like I said, it's one in the morning. I'm here next to this church and whatnot. It's nice out here. Let me just say this. I'm telling you, I thought, now don't get me wrong. Let me make this clear. Iceland, from my understanding, the weather can change within a matter of five minutes, ten minutes, right? It could be nice, and then it'll be just hectic. But since I've been here, it hasn't been like that. I'm from New York, so I know what New York cold is, especially off that beach, the water, and whatnot, right? So I, I definitely get that. Um, so it hasn't been that cold and whatnot. So, yeah. But be prepared, do your research if you plan to come to Iceland in the winter time, you know what I mean? Um, but it's definitely worth it, the views, beautiful. So, yeah, I'm just gonna walk around and get ready because tomorrow, excuse me, today, early today, well, in the afternoon I have a um, snorkeling joint, so I wanna get up early, get my mind together, and get ready for that drive. It's like a 50 minute drive. So I gotta do that and do my thing. Then I got the blue lagoon afterwards. You know, soak my body into that geothermal heat, face mask, and everything else. Eat and then just chill. And then um, Tuesday, which is my like final, final, I said, four, whatever, but uh, yeah, I got the photo. Bye.